What's happening YouTube? Tom from TSH, Tech Stops here coming your way. Today I'm going to show you what I use, how my system's set up, what gear I have um, to do all these videos and also to do my photography gear which is well, my photography uh, projects which is the main reason I've got to set up uh, the way I have. So let's get right into it. Alright guys, so this is my setup here. This is what I see when I, uh, when I look at my computer. As I said in my other videos, it's primarily set up for still image photography and editing. I don't do a lot of video editing, so it's not uh, it's not set up for that purpose. What I do for YouTube isn't necessarily uh, hardware or software intensive, so again, still imagery. But if I start up, uh, this is the Samson C01U microphone that I use for my YouTube uh, podcast video casts. I've got a uh, review video on that one on my site, so you can check it out. Self-explanatory. We go straight back to the or straight to the workhorse here. This is the Apple MacBook Pro 13-inch, uh, 2.4 gigahertz, 4 gigabytes of RAM, 320 gigs hard drive. Um, that's my main workhorse. Had them on iMac. Went to a MacBook Pro for portability, and at some stage may go back to an iMac or get an iMac as well. But at the moment, this one does me just fine, which is uh, it's really good. Got it hooked up to the Dell, uh, top of the line Dell 24 inch uh, monitor. Can't remember the model number of this one, but I'll put it below the video. Um, this one has been calibrated, and I calibrate it every two weeks uh, to a particular ICC profile. So, what I see on screen, the contrast, color, and brightness, and so forth, is what uh, it'll look like if, it print, if I uh, print an image out. So, I, I use the x i1 color calibrating device, which I'll show you guys in a second. There's also a review on that one. Hooked up just to a stock standard wired up Apple uh, keyboard. Got the magic mouse here, which I use as my primary, primary mouse. Got the gestures and so forth, uh, works really well. I also have an Apple trackpad, which I use from time to time. Um, similar to the one just on the keyboard there. You can check my video out on that one as well. Get around the back, I've got a G-RAID 2GB, uh, or G-TEC 2GB RAID drive there. Looks looks quite nice with the uh, Mac sort of finishing, the silver finishing. G-TEC drives are really solid drives. Uh, this is my primary drive for my data storage. Um, I use that, connects by Firewire 800. Let me just show you the back. And it's a really solid drive, so I use this one as my primary uh, drive for all my information, all my files, raw files. I don't tend to delete uh, raw files, and uh, and then it's all stored there, including all my edited images and stuff. At the back there, I've got a one terabyte Western Digital drive. That's uh, my Time Machine backup drive. I use that for... Um, backing up both the GTEC and my uh, MacBook Pro. Pretty much full, so I need to get a bigger one because the GTEC is obviously a 2 terabyte. Just out the back there, that's just a little JVC uh, music device there I use. I hook it up to my MacBook Pro um, via, the, um, via the earphone jack just to get some uh, better music coming through on iTunes if I'm listening to it on my desk. This is the uh, x i1 um, color calibrator which you can check my other review out on my site for and then I'll also use the Wacom bamboo tablet uh, for my editing when I do Photoshop and Illustrator and so forth um, so I use that both of them hook up USB and that's pretty much my day-to-day -day setup so let me know what you think if you guys have any of these products or if you can recommend a better setup or if you've got your own setup, post it down below in the comments and let me know what you think. Don't forget to check me out on Twitter at TechStops and, uh, and subscribe to my channel. Tom from TechStops here. I'll catch you next time. And